So entrepreneurship, and then we have something called technopreneurship. What we're, we're talking today. What, what, what on earth is technopreneurship? What is technology? What do you mean by technology? What do you understand by the word technology? I, I don't have to call your names, right? Just unmute and share your idea, share your thoughts. And there's no right or wrong answer. What is technology? Hmm? You can type it on the on the chat box if you like. No idea, no idea what technology is. Can you give an example for a technology? Hmm? So, okay, the silence. Um, so basically technology is the application of, of science. Science, what is science? Science is to know about something, right? Science is to know about something. We, we, if, you know, if we if we know about how uh, electricity works, if we know about how electrons work, how electricity works, that is that that knowledge, that knowing is 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 called science, right? If we know about how uh, aerodynamics work, how air works, what is what what air is made up of right and how how the wind works how does the pressure works right and how how do these birds fly how do they fly what makes them fly if we know that if we find that out right that knowledge that knowing is called science that knowledge when you know about something then you can make use of that knowledge that is called technology if you are making use of the scientific knowledge and if you are applying that scientific knowledge to do something then that is called technology right if you know how electrons um, pass or how electricity conducts then you 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 can you can make semiconductors semiconductors right and with semiconductors you can make chips and and with chips you can make computers right we call digital technology if you know how the air works and how the the wind works and how uh, wings work in animals in birds then you can actually make use of that knowledge and make uh, something to fly you can make aeroplanes right so using the knowledge the, the aerodynamics the science to make uh, planes and that is uh, aeroplane technology aircraft technology right and this 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 applies to everything guys i mean if just think about building a house with bricks right if you know how how soil works right that you can you know you can actually take mud and and pressure it into a block and you can dry it it hardens up and if you know what if you have that knowledge then you can make a brick and with bricks you can then make a house right 
So like that. So applying of knowledge is, is technology. If you know how the body works, if you know how uh, viruses work, if you know how genes work, if you know how DNA and, and RNA works, if you know how the cell works, then you can actually use that knowledge to make a RNA vaccine, like the, the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines that are being used uh, to, to give immunity against the coronavirus. Uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's uh, gene technology, right? Are you all following me? Does that make sense? Do you understand what technology is? Biotechnology, we call it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. All right. So then what, what, what's, what's happening here now? You know, technology has been there from, from you know, probably from this, the start of human civilization. When, when the humans first started to learn how to make, uh, like, you know, stone weapons, it has been with us uh, the, since the discovery of, uh, uh, of, of the wheel, how humans are uh, able to, you know, learn to start fire and control fire. Uh, it has been there with us for a very, very long time. And during the industrial revolution, uh, you know, huge sort of factories boomed as a result of, of the technology at that time, right, in Europe. And even before that, in our regions, we, we had had civilizations in our countries, in our nations, in, in uh, South Asia and in, in East Asia. We have civilizations going thousands of years back and we have built like huge structures, right? You know, these stupas and pyramids and great castles and statues and lakes and you know waterways and ships and all, all those that's all technology you know knowing about something and then using that knowledge to do something but in today's world we have a, 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 another a very advanced form of technology which is called the digital technology or the information technology you have nanotechnology you have biotechnology you know, so we the, the the type of technologies that we're talking today are, are, are you know more advanced than uh, what the type of technologies that we had in the past. But those technologies were advanced for that time, right? And in the future, there will be even more advanced technologies uh, that 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 humans will will make use of, right? So. So what we're trying, what I'm trying to say here is that when, when you use technology that is existing today or that is prevalent today, that is, that is popular today, the, the, the top technology that, that we have today, when you use the technology in your entrepreneurship, that is to fill a market need, solve a market issue, fulfill a market gap, right? to create a product or a service, basically, right? They're using technology in that, then that is called technopreneurship or technology entrepreneurship. Did you understand that? It's about using technology, right? To introduce a product or a service to, to not, not just to introduce, but to make a product or a service using whatever the latest technologies that are available and then also to sort of introduce that product to the market to full to fill a market need now that is uh, that is technopreneurship 